Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Go ahead and give him glory. Yes, he is worthy to receive all our praises. Go ahead and praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it's worthy to receive all our praises. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will. Lift up mine eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. From the Lord which made the heavens and the earth. Suffer thy foot, thy foot to be moved. The Lord that keepeth thee, he will not slumber nor sleep. For the Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shame. Upon Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. My help. Thank you. 
be used, Lord, by you. I want to be used by you. By you. By you. By you. By you. I want to be used. Lord. By you. By you, yes. used by you, by you, by you, by you, by you, by you, I want to be you.
refuse me Jesus don't refuse me There must be some work that I can do And all some style that stumble Lord just help my will to be humble Though the task is great I work for you Though the task is great Sometimes we stumble, Jesus. Please help our world to be humble. Lord, I know the task is great, but I'll work for you. Lord, I work for you. Lord, I work. Yes, I work for you. Work for you. I work for you. Even though sometimes we stumble, Lord, if you help our world to be humble. Though the task is great, I work. For you, for you, for you, for you, I'll work for you, I'll work for you, Jesus, for Be great, I work for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, I work for you. But I work for you, for you. Lord, if you help me, I work. Oh, for you, for you. Lord, I know the task is great, so great, very great. But I work for you. Though the task is great, I work for you, for you. Lord, we work for you. Only you, for you. For you. Thank you, Jesus. Though sometimes, Lord, we stumble, please help all of us to be humble. Though the task is great, hallelujah, but we work for you. Lord, use me, Jesus. Please, yes, Lord. don't refuse. There must be some work 
Jesus. We just want to magnify our God. One more time. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. He alone is worthy to be praised. Amen. You may be seated for a short while. Thank you. Rise up from the rising of the sun to the going on the same. Yes, Lord. His name Hallelujah. alone is worthy. Thank you, praise God. No human, no angels is worthy to be praised as holy as the angels are. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise God, but they are not um, commissioned to accept Hallelujah. worship and praise. Thank you, Jesus. They are worshippers. Amen. Hallelujah. And they worship the same God that we worship. Yes, Lord. One tried it some years ago and was demoted. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. He's, he's, he lost his estate. He lost um, his power. And he became a devil. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any angel try to accept praise my and worship, God, God, they too God. will be devoted. Because yes, just to accept mm -hmm. what belongs to God Jesus. is evil. Amen. Yes. The Bible said the, very, the, the moment evil was found in Amen. him, praise God, he was thrust out. Amen. Evil was found in him. And so, brothers and sisters, it's very important for us to understand that anything or anyone who accepts what belongs to God, then of course, they will be judged by this God. They so said the sun will be judged, the moon will be judged. And every stick and wood, every statue, everything that is worshipped as a God will be judged because God said, I am a jealous God. Amen. And you know what jealousy does. Amen. Praise God. And so we thank God today when we worship the true and living God. Thank you, 
not many people. And when I say many, when you, if you should really know the, um, the amount from the entire world that really worship the true and living God, it's just a small, Amen. it's a remnant. But thank God we are a part of the remnant. Praise God. I don't know for you, but I never bow to a piece of wood. I never bow to a frog. I never bow to wood and stone. What people does. People worship cows. Go behind them and let them pee on them and call it baptism. Lord of mercy. The shock surprises the what people worship. But thank God we worship God. We worship God. Some yeah, people yeah. baptize Jesus. fire baptism. They baptize in a, in a, in a blazing fire. Mm -hmm. Call it fire baptism. My but my God, we thank God we worship yes, our maker. Yeah. Amen. I, you know, I'm so happy that when I was born, my mother and father already know the true God and worship the true God. Because if I was born in a family that worship cows and, and frogs, maybe, just maybe, I would still bowing down to some insects. But thank God. Praise God. Thank God. Amen. Bless the name of our Lord, brothers and sisters. For those of us who really worship God, even in America, it is a shock surprise to know some things that people worship. Amen. Right in this Christian country, thank in the West. My God, but I thank God we serve the true and living God. God. Yes. Because, you know, sometimes when I feel depressed, when I feel down, and I go on my knees, and I pray, thank you, and that depression and that feeling is still there, I would search for that God, my God. and I would really fight it. I know some people for some statue. Because you know sometimes you really feel down mm. and out. My Lord. When you really cry before God, you cannot feel that washing, mm. that source of refreshing. You cannot feel any revival at all. You don't need that God. Amen. Blessed right. be the name of the Lord. But I thank God that the God that we serve, the God that we worship, He is the true and the living God. Amen. And so today we are blessed. We are more than conquerors through God. That's Here right. we are in the presence of the Lord, in the house of the Lord. You know, many times people ask us if we are Sabbath keepers. Mm. No, we're not. Amen. Yes, we're Adventist, but a Seventh-day Adventist. We're looking for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are in the Advent. Amen. And we worship God not just on Sunday. We worship God every day of the week, yes, not just one. Amen. Praise God. So we don't just keep the day holy. Amen. We keep our self holy. Amen. And we worship a holy God. Thank you, Jesus. And here we are to tap into the source of refreshing. Thank God. Whatever went on through the course of the week, here we are this morning to magnify and to adore his great and powerful name. I don't know how you feel, brothers and sisters, when you come into the fasting service and you just bow your hearts on the God and worship. There is there is something happening. Oh, there is something happening. You yes. might not even realize it sometimes. It's like when you go to the gas station with a empty tank. Oh. When you when you clock in and put your card or you pay and you're hoping that pump and it, it, it fill up. Thank you, Jesus. It fill right up. The lock and you can drive. You look at the nigger, you know, yes, I have a full tank. Amen. I can drive. Amen. Praise God. And this is why when we come to the house of the Lord Jesus Christ, let's make sure that we fill up. Yeah. Because you don't know the diversion. You don't know what's going to happen out there cause it to go Amen. long or go around some stuff. Amen. Or go over some stuff. Amen. Or run faster than you expect to run. You don't know the test, the trial that is awaiting you. Amen. So you really need to fill up. And the good thing about filling up here, you don't have to pay for it. It's Amen. already paid for. Amen. It's free. Amen. All we got to do just to come, open up, and allow God to service us. Thank that we are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. We're going to pray. Absolutely. No, no, no prayer. My 
God. Can you imagine you take God out of the equation? Jesus. Amen. You take prayer out of what is going on. You take that out. I don't know about you. Take no church to come to Amen. out of the equation. What, what do you have left? God. Nowhere to go to worship. Nowhere to go to live. The knowledge that you have now, if you did not have that where God is concerned, what would you have left? I don't know about the saints of God, but believe you me, I wouldn't want to live. I wouldn't want to live. But thank God I have something to look forward to. Praise God. Everything else is just temporary. But this, we are in rehab. Praise God. And one of these days, when all of this is over, I'm going to step out into my real life. Praise God. All that you do here, the, 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 the house you're living, the place you sleep, and all of that is just temporary. But one of these days, blessed be the name of the Lord, when we step out of this, we're going to step into real life. We're going to look back at all this stuff and say, it is over absolutely no more test no more trial that's why we're in church that's what church is for that's why that's what that's what christianity is all about Amen. preparing ourselves Amen. for the real world praise god god bless you we know um, we know that death will happen and it will happen to all of us it was appointed but my problem is when a person dies without God, oh. when a person dies not saved, mm -hmm. that is my problem. My God. He was not saved. He was not God. That is the problem. That's the problem. You know, when one dies without being born again, it's better the person never born. My God. Because Hell is a must. Mm -hmm. There is absolute, no matter what the priest said, no matter what the Pope said, mm -hmm. there's absolutely no pardon offered to the dead. Mm -hmm. There is no repentance in the grave. If you die in your sin, it's over. You're just waiting for sentencing. That's it. My God. Your destiny sealed on for another um, the writer said um, um, I forget the script that I want to quote um, if the righteous if the righteous can hardly make it if we are safe and it's so hard I mean, you're, you're saved, you're baptized, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. You come into church on a regular basis, and it is so hard. hard. Jesus. Jesus. We shall. Mm -hmm. The sinner and the ungodly appear. But we know the answer, though. Amen. It's only hell. That's it. Period. Jesus. But we just want to be grateful to the Lord that we are saved. Thank you, Jesus. And as much as it's possible, let us tell it to somebody else. Amen. And um, if you tell them and they don't accept it, then it's up to them. Amen. But every human being, even those baby that is conceived and aborted, oh. they too will be judged. My God. And the parent will be judged. Jesus, and the doctor that flushed them will be judged. Jesus. Those who work in the clinic will be judged. Oh, Lord, because Lord, if God ordained a man from conception, oh. it means that God know that person yes. who did not get a chance Amen. to come up. Jesus. So they'll be judged. Oh. And when you when you when you when you look at the statistics of those, the amount of kids that is killed right. per day in this country. My God. Oh. 
then you understand that America would be maybe three or four times the population if they were allowed to come. Amen. That's why sometimes you can't find a good president. They flush them out. Jesus. But thank God we are here. We're alive. So while the blood running warm in our veins, let us stay with the Lord. Because one day, if we live long enough before the rapture, we too will die. Amen. And after that, there comes the judgment. God bless you. Let us pray. Michael, Michael. None of you can live without somebody else. Amen. Amen. You try it and see. You don't have to go far in the desert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A man thought he could do without people. And he blamed everything that happened to him on other persons. So he went away to a, 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 a mountain. And um, the first thing he went up there to do, he, he prayed. But the bucket of water they carry to keep him for a period of time. When he got up off his knees, his horn feet kick over the water. Oh <laughs> so he didn't have anything to drink. He said, oh my God, I thought I'd leave the trouble. But the trouble is me. Mm -hmm. He went back down and humbled himself. Amen. So we have to, we, we are, we are our brother's keeper. Amen. And I really wouldn't like God one day to call me and ask, where is your sister? Oh and where is your brother? Because mm -hmm. if God asks you a question, you're in trouble. You don't ask him because he don't know. He wants to know if you know where he is your brother. So this is a powerful word, brothers and sisters. Where is thy brother? We are all brothers keep up. So even to pray and mention someone's name on your knees, it speaks value. Amen. With the love of God. Mm -hmm. Because every time you call someone's name, God hear that name. Yes, and if the person needs to be delivered, God will just because you pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. To stand for the benediction. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the fully fellowship of our Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain, and abide with us all, both now and forever. And all God people say, Amen. Amen. God bless everyone in Jesus' name. You are dismissed.